Good morning, friends. Today is the 15th day of uh, July in this 2020 year of our Lord. We're thankful for uh, the gift of a new day and our life within it. And uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, the attitude that we wear upon our face and what it expresses to the world around us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading of the 54th Psalm. Save me, O God, by your name. In your might defend my cause. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For the arrogant have risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life. Those who have no regard for God, behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Render evil to those who spy on me, and your faithfulness destroy them. I will offer you a free will sacrifice, and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble, and my eye has seen the ruin of my foe. And let us pray. Father, hear our prayer, and come to the aid of your church. Mercifully deliver us from evil, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, we may offer you a pure sacrifice of praise through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I found this little story I'd like to share with you about one of our founding fathers of this great nation of the United States of America, Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson was riding a horse in the company of several young men who were also riding. They came to a swollen stream and saw a rough-looking Kentucky frontiersman sitting on the edge of the stream. The man said nothing to the younger men as they passed, but as Jefferson passed, the man asked him for a ride across the stream. Jefferson consented, and the man mounted behind Jefferson and rode across the stream. Once they were safely across, the man dismounted from Jefferson's horse. One of the younger men rode back and asked him why he had let the young man pass. Uh, the, younger men, the younger men pass, but had asked the gentleman to carry him across the stream. And the man responded, Well, if you want to know, I'll tell you. I reckon a man carries yes and no on his face. The young chap's faces said no, and the old one said yes. Thomas Jefferson carried a yes on his face, and so did Jesus Christ. When, what do you carry on your face, in your voice, express in your demeanor, a yes or a no? Of course, there's an expressed value behind that story. Jesus wore a yes on his face. I am sure, almost sure, he didn't wear a happy face at all, all the time, for he is often disappointed and discouraged by the response that humans were making toward his life and what he saw in their life with each other. But his way was a can-do, want-to-do, for the sake of others attitude. Most people can read your face and your mannerisms and words expressed to know how you really feel behind what you are saying. They know when you are truly pleased to be around them, and perhaps you, you can't wait for them to be gone, and they can read that as well. We know whom we should ask for help, and who is going to turn us away. In one of the Gospels, there's a pretty good illustration. Though there was a crippled woman, wasn't necessarily looking for healing. You can be certain that she probably would not have approached the leader of the synagogue for help as he was more of a no man than a yes man. But Jesus had the, love, the yes of love and compassion and understanding written upon his face. He sought the woman out. He was proactive in doing what he discerned was just as important as hearing the word of God on a Sabbath, taking care of a person's needs. I have a bad habit. It's probably nothing more than a tension-getting thing, but I do speak to strangers. I make eye contact with those I pass by, and sometimes I smile. I've met some rather interesting people that way. 
But I may say it sends, uh, it must, but I must say that it sends another message too. Here's a guy that I can go to for help for what may be needed in the moment. I tend to err on the side of wearing that yes face. And why? Well, it's what Jesus calls us to do. You can probably guess where this is going, if you haven't done so by now. What do you wear on your face, and why? Think about it. Weigh the liabilities that goes with each, and say if that is what you really want to be. I know who you are. I, I, I know who are the, the go-to people in my life, and I am thankful for the yeses that I see on many faces. I respect the times we sometimes need to wear the no face. And think about this. What kind of face do you think God wears? Is God your go-to person? Is God approachable? Or do you live in fear of the Lord and stay clear? What does either response say about who you are? God's blessings and God's peace this day. And let us pray. Lord, there are, are times that you give to us that are opportunities to say yes, and there are opportunities we are called to say no. Help us to be as positive and as confident and as trusting as we can, for we know also that you have promised to be there with us, to help us to respond in love and care for each other, you show us your more perfect way. You show us a discerning heart that can determine those things that are needful in other people's lives and those that are not so genuine. Give us hearts to care and love for one another and as you have so done for us. Lord, we thank you for this day that lies before us for the opportunities that will prevail to be people of action or to be people of caution. Inspire us, O oh Lord, to be your people in whatever we say and whatever we do, and to reflect your love through the life we live. Lord, be confident and present with those who have needs far greater than we. Be with those that need a helping hand in their walk of life. Be with those that need a hand of healing to find strength and renewal for the living of this day and the days that lie ahead. Render good healing upon those that undergo surgeries, for those that look to find a better opportunity for supporting and loving their families. And O Lord, hear now the prayers and the concerns that we offer upon our hearts in the silence of this moment. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.